But we got to change what we're doing. Uh, you know, I think there is an urgency to what we're facing in politics that, that's unlike anything you or I have ever seen before. We did not mean to start out with Senator Cruz. This is not about Senator Cruz. So please take this as just a moment to reconsider, reset, get ready for what we're about to talk about here. I don't want anybody saying that this was meant for Ted Cruz. It is not. Let us then move forward, okay? Let's start out. Every generation has its miscreants, those who, for whatever reason, mental illness, stunning idiocy, having been dropped far too many times on their heads as children, or in some cases, maybe dropped too few times. They seek to make a mockery of basic intelligence, either to make a quick buck or just to be a fast-breeding moron. We know they exist. Plenty of times when we uncover and bring these poor, misguided souls into the light of day, there's always that one side of the issue who decries how terrible the punishment is, how it's far worse than the crime itself, and maybe our little bleeding hearts need to feel sorry for those who obviously don't receive enough love when they were young. After all, they're the generation, the next generation. They'll save America, the generation of intelligence, of up-and-comers who will be the leaders of the future. So let's not be so harsh. They're just confused. They're just trying to find their way in life. Hey. At least we have those stalwart next geners who are seeking to better themselves and make society a greater place by going to college. That place where thoughts become reality, dreams on how to serve the fellow man are forged, and we feel secure in the knowledge that despite the fools we hear about every day, there are those seeking higher education who will make us proud of their achievements. This is the image that was sent to us here at News 19. It's unclear when or where it was taken. It shows a woman at a whiteboard adding to a list titled Reasons Why USC Wi-Fi Blows. The first line is a racial slur, and as you can see, some of the other items include overpopulated campus and parking. I talked with the university who says they are investigating the incident. At this point, all they have released is a tweet saying, Respect for all and the University of South Carolina creed are our University of South Carolina values. Racism and incivility are not tolerated. Situation being investigated. The picture has gone viral on every social network. Yes, college where we send our young and impressionable to educate themselves, to be leaders, to be the next generation of scholars, instructed by those with no leaning left or right who would ever seek to influence a proper education, crafting, forming, those who at all times are the ones to admire and be confident in the knowledge that we as parents, teachers, and adults are directing them to a proper future. Fans aren't taking their team's first loss very well at all. This was the scene in Lexington after the Wildcats lost to Wisconsin last night. Upset fans took to the streets, lighting several small fires. Police and riot gear lined the streets trying to keep the peace. According to local reports, at least 31 people were arrested, most of them for disorderly conduct or being drunk. The Badgers knocked off Kentucky 71-64. to Yes. Join with me here. We must realize the contribution of these fascinating people, these, these college-educated individuals, not just for what they bring to the current timeline here, but for how they change our lives every day. Let's be honest. They do make a change in our lives, yours, mine, everybody's. How they reveal to us their needs, their true desires, and how what they bring to the generational table is necessary. We must pay attention to these people. We must give these people exactly what they are due. We must take time in our lives to make sure that we mark them for exactly what they are. It is thus with pride we here at Midpoint would like to announce a brand new occasional feature on this show. Of course, the show that questions everything. We seek to fill that gap that we hope will forge lasting intelligence and change the way we view these special people and what they bring to our minor humdrum existence. So look for it from time to time as we find those who could only be called and will be called from this moment forward the generation of stupid, whom we are seeking to assist them. We want to help them reach their fitting place in society, where they belong. For as we know, there are always openings for human doorstops, human speed bumps, and human test crash dummies. There has to be a way for these people to find those jobs. We're here to point them out. We're here to make sure they get what they deserve. That's my opinion, telling it like it is. Rock on, true believers. We are back again tomorrow. We reach into what's going to happen to tomorrow, and that is Rand Paul, who says, I want to be president. We'll follow him. We'll talk about it and so much more right here. See you then. Back on Midpoint.